Oh, Jesus. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. This is the last act, and the sixth horde is fast approaching, but we have a friggin' wandering horde that's come barreling up on us right as I was about to go outside and do the intro. Wow, well, good timing anyway. Very, very close timing. <laughs> oh, geez, they blew up a car out there and everything. It's, don't blow stuff up. I gotta scrap those things. Would you get out of here? All right, well, it's basically just cleanup time. I actually need to get some stone anyway, so let's head over here, kill these guys, and get some of that stone together so I can make some more cobblestone. Hello? Maybe one or two of you want to come over here? Maybe not all four. Oh, damn. Yeah, they're a little confused. That's good. It's like they come up a few feet, I walk backwards, and then they just stop coming after me. That's fair enough. Zombie AI here, seven days to die. Alright, we're good. Alright, we'll start the day today getting a little bit of stone. I do want to break down some cars after that, so that we can maybe get an engine, and then get another cement mixer crafted. Not exactly the most important thing to do today, but we'll try. Then I've uh, got the money with me, we're going to head over to the vending machines as well, see if we can get any more good candy. Swing by the trader, drop off our quest, see if we can get a new one. Okay, that should do us over for a while. Try and get some forged steel out of this here. No luck on the cars so far, let's hop on the bicycle. Finally, we're off of our legs, and we're into the bicycle age. Which probably won't last too long, because the next couple skill points we get, I plan on putting into... I plan to invest into... Let's see, do we have any skill points now? We do, we have a bunch, so we can do that right now. We're going to go into Grease Monkey a little bit. And we'll go into Intellect a little bit more. I want to get the motorcycle, because... Well, not the motorcycle itself, but the motorcycle perk, because I, I think with B-Dub's mod, you can then craft... Um, the, the dirt bike, and I hear that the dirt bike is a really good vehicle. There's our engine right there, nice. Okay, swinging by the trader here. Anything good in here? We got some eye candy, some dog food. I'll take the dog food. You always want to save the dog food. It's not something you can craft, so it's it's the limiting factor usually when it comes to making oh, learning elixir. Go, what, what do you got for me? I'll take the Molotovs, I think. What is this, actually? Ooh, double pocket mods. On second thought, I'll take that. Any other jobs? Ooh, bad players playing Seven Days to Die, so shout out to Bad Player. Bad Player is the server admin for the multiplayer server, and he's the Discord admin too. So um, thank you so much for all of your support, Bad Player. We'll do this clear zombies to the southwest, gas problem. station one. Sure. Okay, anything in here? Whoops, I woke someone up. Ah, run. <laughs> she came to the door. She's like, who's out here? Nobody. I am out of here. Gotta be careful, though. These zombies in here are gonna respawn here any day. Eye candy, sugar butts. Eye candy, rock busters, sugar butts. Yeah, there's a couple actually coming up in various areas. Oh boy. Quickly now, get the eye candy out of here and we're good. Actually, health bar, grab that too. Who's here? Arlene, of course. Good night. I'm out of stamina. Yikes, get on the bike. I'm no coward. I'm not running from you. Of all zombies. Oh, jeez. There we go. All right, let's drop our stuff back off at the base. I'm going to get the cement mixer crafting and some cobblestone as well. We'll go do that quest. Whoops. Uh, over there. I don't think I've been there before. I don't think I've been in that direction at all, really. And then we're going to come back here and do some remodeling. There's a lot to do here. I have been thinking that we can actually turn this into our long-term base. But it's going to take a lot of work, and it starts today. So, cement mixer, and after that, maybe about a thousand cobblestone. Okay, we'll read that needle and thread now that I remember that I bought it. And what do I need to do for double pocket mods? Sewing kit, leather, cloth, and duct tape. We're short on leather and cloth, so we're, we're on the lookout for that stuff from now on. And with that, I think we have everything we need for the day. I might actually take another repair kit there, get that repaired up, and now we're good. Let's go do that quest. Here we 
are? Did I do this already? I don't even remember. All these POIs just blend in together. This is unsearched, so potentially we did not. This is unsearched. Yeah, I don't think we've been here. Whoa. Quality. Wow, who's that? Jeez, jumped the crap out of me. That's a quality four iron sledgehammer. I'm going to go ahead and switch that over for a little bit. Give us a chance to kind of test drive it and see if uh, I think that our stamina will hold up well enough to use it. And this is working. I didn't bring the money with me and uh, there's nothing really in there anyway. Okay, let's uh, hit it. Still working. Good. Seven lockpicks. Wow. Good find. More zombies. Who's that? <laughs> no, look who it is. I should have guessed. Oh, look. Another one. And she's got the fat mama walking animation. Whoops. Nice. Ooh, I'm kind of liking the hammer already. Ooh, a workbench. Uh, we got a biker and a Karen and... Whoa, holy crap. Fast. Ooh, knockdown power is not too bad. It's stamina use, though. That's the that's the issue, usually. Just do the old open the door, smack him in the face, close the door trick. Just like my granddaddy taught me. Ooh, another sledgehammer. Only 38 coin. I'll probably just scrap that. It would be more efficient if I put it into the forge, but... I don't want to carry it around all day, honestly. We'll always break these down for the forged iron. Whoop, woke someone up in the backyard, I think. Who's out here? Ooh, we got a chem station back here, too. Some gunpowder. We'll break this down. Was there anything down here? Not really. Ah, this valve. These valves break down into brass, I've learned. Wire tool. I don't think I have one of those. Wouldn't be bad to have it. Okay, up we go. I'm suspicious there might be a dog over there. Make sure I have the guns reloaded. There, nope, there's a bird though. <laughs> Even worse if you ask me. At least if you if they get the drop on you. And here we are at the main loot. I do need leather and stuff like that, so I will take this bird apart. Feathers, not so much. Um, not too bad. Is this it? There's no chest or anything here? I'm not gonna waste a looting candy if there's no chest. Ooh, steel tools schematic. And some steel tool parts, so that might come in handy. Blueberry pie, lucky day! Barracks chair, you can scrap those for iron. Some bandages, I might actually take one of those. Do you think I should? No, no we're doing pretty good. And some ammo. Man, is that it for this place? What a crap POI, man. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Got some good stuff. <laughs> the, the car was probably the best one. I got that sledgehammer. So let's go this way. Joel's right over there. We're not actually too far away. And there was a safe in this POI that I skipped over. I do have plenty of lockpicks now. And I also have the crowbar. I brought that with me today. I, cause someone told me that the crowbars open up these safes really well, so... Whoa, yeah it does. Very nice. Looting goggles. Don't need a loot. What the hell is this? A katana and a stun baton I can sell and a new Danax. Wow, good deal. Look at this. <laughs> yes. Oh, I want to spec into like knives now. Very cool. Oh, I love all the new stuff in these mods. It's one thing that Seven Days is kind of lacking is variety. Fortunately, we have a very good modding community here. All right, we're gonna drop this quest off and we're back to the base after that to do construction and destruction. Okay, what do you got, buddy? You got an art of mining book. That'll be for diamond tipped blade mods, automatic weapons. That'll be for crafting M60s and Tempered blade mod schematic and a weighted head. Hmm, I already have a weighted head for the iron sledgehammer. I'm gonna take the art of mining book and the reason being, if I get all seven books and I complete the series, that is a really good series to complete because you can one shot the ore after that. And uh, do you have any other jobs? Or yeah, they're all really far away. So I'll grab one tomorrow. 
No need to check his inventory because we did that whole trick last time to reset the POI and all that to cut down the tree. And that reset his inventory, so I don't even want to look and see what he has. It would, it, To me, that would be cheating. So we'll wait until tomorrow when the trader restocks, and then we'll check out what he has. And we'll do a big sell-off tomorrow as well. And just because I'm right here and I, I remembered it for once, I'm going to grab my little pick. I'm going to open up some more of these holes here so that the zombies can get through tonight. Okay, that should probably help. Um, it kind of reminds me, that's one of the things I'm really worried about in Alpha 20 when they introduce the city tiles and all the city upgrades, is that such densely packed urban areas with concrete buildings and stuff are just going to be a mess for zombie pathing, but they've kind of assured us that that's not necessarily going to be the case, so it just, uh, we'll see, I guess. All right, we're back. I'm just going to dump a whole bunch of stuff here into the dump chest. Read that book. Gather up our building materials. Get the new cement mixer. Pop that down. And uh, I was making cobble, but apparently I messed up and typed in a hundred and not a thousand. So, whoops. We'll get some more of that for later on. Get some frames crafted. And can I get... Um, yep. Oh, we got a whole bunch of concrete mix. How much more of that can I get? About 400. Okay, that's fair. Eat a little bit of food. I'll take some yucca juice. For a little bit of a stamina boost here, and it's time to get work on demoing and basically building. So what we're going to do, long story short, going to be a fighting position here. There's going to be a fighting position here later. That's not for today. And this is going to move to the center of the building, and the center line is this right here, I believe. Yes. Okay. So we're going to probably tonight we'll fight on this corridor but i'm gonna build this corridor and then tomorrow we're gonna make the big switch and there's just gonna be one like main central corridor here so it starts with some demo work this will be the new door here to the crafting room It'll be interesting to see how building goes in Alpha 20 when there's no more concrete drying phase. No more reinforced concrete either. You'll just go straight from cobble to concrete. Concrete will then have the same amount of hit points as reinforced concrete currently has, which is 5,000. At this rate, there's going to be a screamer here any minute. Now, oh, speak of the devil, and the devil appears. And she's over there beating on that damn fence. And the last time she was doing that, she ended up screaming eventually. So I'm going to just head over and see if I can give her a couple pop shots. Oh, of course, I can't even see her. All right, got to be quick about this. Oh, oh, she's way over there. Tell me she's not going to scream. I think we're safe. Nope, she... There's one zombie running up on me. There's two zombies. All right, it's a screamer horde. Yeah, she screamed. It was like a pseudo scream. Oh, it's quite concerning when the Moes run really fast. Ow. All right, I think we have a couple more. Arlene and a stripper, was it? Arlene in a janitor. Okay, back to work. I think actually while I'm out here, I might go chop down a couple trees just to top off on wood. We're getting really low. And then uh, while we're here, um, I feel like we... Whoops. Uh... I feel like we kind of have enough time. I was going to upgrade this one, but I guess I'll upgrade all of them at this point. Yeah, these usually don't take a whole lot of damage anyway. I'm not too, too worried about it. We'll upgrade this. Oh, and the, our poor exit sign is about to break, and uh, we need <laughs> electrical parts to fix it. Well, I have plenty of those. Okay, the work continues. We don't want this to actually be a corridor right now, because zombies will 
probably use it. But for tomorrow, this will be the end of the next corridor. I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. Go ahead and just get the hatches up anyway. Okay, that's the start of the new corridor. It's a little bit shorter so that it doesn't kind of abut this wall like this one does. And uh, I'm going to just kind of, you know, do the whole ramp from all directions trick there so they don't get too hung up and start beating on the sides of the ramp. We'll do the same pole system. Whoop, that's a little broken. Uh, speaking of broken, I should probably make sure this is all ship shape and ready to go. I think it is. And uh, let's get a couple of ramps here. I'll just put these uh, copy rotation just like that. And uh, they should not want to come up here. There's no reason for them to, to do this, even though they could technically come right up here. And I might just upgrade this real quickly because, um, you know, things might happen. Surprising things sometimes happen. I don't know. Yeah, just plug that up. The more I think about it, the more worried I get. But yeah, tomorrow all we'll have to do is connect it up and uh, we should be pretty much ready to go. Just get that plate in there and upgrade it. Get those bars in there and upgrade those. Get the pole blocks ready. Yeah, that's pretty much ready to go for tomorrow. All right, 2044, we have just a little bit of time left to get ready for tonight's horde. Just gonna toss everything into the dump chest. I'll go through it all later. I need all the materials for repair. We'll eat a lucky blueberry pie. Yeah, I think we are ready to go. One last kind of check around here. Okay, everything's pretty much good here. And my friends, the horde is almost upon us. This is the true test of the Iron Sledgehammer to see if I can sustain it throughout the night. And to see if we get the knockdowns that we want here. Oh, geez. Getting beat up already. Okay, stamina's good again. We're in the rhythm. Again, zombies are still be Oh, we got a dog here. They're still beating on the fence over to our left. Can I see that dog? Yep, there he is. Good. Uh-oh. Not working. Come on. Get away from this door. Need a knock down here. Come on. There we go. Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Come on. Just get it up one more level. Guns. Get back. Not particularly effective. Get back. Get back. Whoa! They're breaking in. Up we go. Okay. Close these. Reload. And they're through. And they just immediately start spilling over the side. Perfect. Four skill points for tomorrow. Unfortunately, they're able to stand on this pole. There is a solution to that. I might have to implement that tomorrow. 
It just consists of putting a pole on the top so that the, it kind of bumps him in the head. Try to conserve the 9 mil. I'm, I'm, that's all I have, the 400 or so rounds that I'm carrying. Okay, get a good view here of what happens on the, the round kind of log or pole block. Hey, stop breaking stuff. Oh, they, they broke the, the bumper. Crap. I also hear them breaking wood, which uh, it, they probably went into kill everything mode, which is when they just kind of aggro on the nearest block and try to destroy it. All right, I've got the pole block ready to replace the bumper. If I can just knock them off here real quick. Ah, they broke the, the bottom bumper. Crap. That just means they have a clear avenue for the plate, but uh, we, we've got backup options. We're good. There we go. Put that down. Upgrade it before they destroy it. Good. Bumper is back in place. Good deal. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Good. I can hear loot bags falling. Oh, I can't wait to see how many we get. They are breaking stuff all over the place here. What are they doing down there? Did they Are they breaking in from the side? They're not supposed to do that. It's getting very quiet. It is almost 2 a.m., so that's typically when the horde has been... Uh, either winding down or over. Let's just carefully listen. Uh, I hear a couple banging. He's inside. There he is. Oh, they're just getting stuck on stuff over there. Uh-oh. Ah! Okay, we're good. Hatch for safety. Nice. Just go ahead and upgrade that as well. Good. All right, what are y'all breaking over here? Were you jumping in here? I think they were because for some reason that's there. Probably because these things, they sometimes like fall down and make little um, piles of iron that they can then climb onto. Otherwise, I think we are good. I think I brought the eye candy with me as well. So we'll chug one down and check the loot bags. Oh, not as many as I was hoping for though. Hey, Katana! Ooh, Blade Trap Schematic! <laughs> don't mind if I do! And uh, just one out here, it seems like. That's a Don't Feed the Bears challenge. Might as well read it. The other I'll scrap. Seems a shame to waste the looting candy. Maybe I will go quickly and see if there's anything at all I can raid real quick. Could quickly take down the laundromat. I think there's a safe around the back. Let's do that. Of course, like two of the strongest zombies in the game and I can't put a freaking thing down to stop them. Yikes. Sit down. All right, there should be two or three more in the back, I thought, yep. Oh boy. Got 
got another loot bag. Bullets and some food. Not bad. Ooh, is that a working vending machine? It is. And I have some dukes so I can buy this eye candy. And I'm probably good on health bars for now. Aha, here it is. Just try to beat into it. Is this gonna work? Uh, yeah, not too bad actually. And for this, oh, I've been forgetting to wear the lucky goggles, which, or have I? Are they on? Yes, oh, they're on, okay. <laughs> Had them on all night. And just a crappy little Danax here that I'll scrap. All right, I'm gonna burn through all these washers and dryers and see what we get. Oh, geez, well that took forever. I got a couple of good dyes, some red, yellow, some black, bunch of um, lucky looting goggles. None of them better than the ones I've been wearing. And otherwise it was just uh, mostly cloth, got some leather. Stuff that we need. Anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, the horde has been dispatched, and we can finally call it a night. I'll get this place cleaned up, and we'll start making preparations for the next horde later in the morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. While you're waiting for the next video, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who helped grow and shape this channel. My name is Temriki, and I hope that I've earned your subscription today. I'll see you next time.